I wanted to take some time out to make this video as a PSA. For those of you who have been on the channel, for those of you who have recently joined, and for some of you that may be new to this video. So I will leave this article in the description down below so you guys could check it out. at and and Verizon switch on faster 5G, but Minnesota options limited. So this video, I just used this article, but this video will be more of, you know, more at scale, more of a nationwide. So this weekend at the Super Bowl, during the, during the commercials, we're going to see the carriers really aggressively push the 5G, um, you know, to push the, to try to push that 5G perception to favor, of course, to favor each carrier and, you know, to get you guys, the consumer to buy in that it's faster, it's better. And, you know, there's new devices. And then of course, Verizon, at least as far as we know, is going to push that 5G fixed wireless access home broadband service. So that's for those of you who are new, that's giving you home Internet access over the wireless network into your home. So you no longer need a fiber connection or a cable connection. You can just now use the wireless, uh, the wireless networks of the respective carriers of T-Mobile and Verizon at and is not doing that at a large scale yet. So we know T-Mobile is going to push that that 5G, 5G coverage, 5G nationwide speeds. They did it at the at the Super Bowl last year, and especially now that that mid band is at more of a larger scale, you can anticipate and make a good educated guess that they're going to go big at this year's Super Bowl, even bigger than last year. And we know Verizon is going to go big as well, but it seems like they're going to be focused more on the network as a service for the fixed wireless access i've been keeping an eye on them over the last several days and that's really what they've been pushing and then at&t it's kind of unclear what they're going to do but whatever it is i'm positive it'll be 5g related if not they're likely just going to push their new and existing customers get the same deals just you know in a, with a different commercial using lily just kind of the same thing. So nothing different there. If it's not 5G related for at t it will be the marketing of the new and existing customers. Now, what I wanted to make this PSA on is temper your expectations. The flavors, as people now call it, of 5G are not going to be everywhere. So the carriers are just going to push 5G, but they're not going to tell you which one of the 5Gs are available to you in, in, in the grand scheme of things during these commercials. So you as a consumer, you may be hyped. You may be like, well, let me check it out. And then you're going to be like, well, wait a minute. It's not available in my area. Or right now you may not have 5G at all. That is still a very high possibility. So 5G at scale for T-Mobile is there, but the mid band is not everywhere. So even if you have 5G in your area today and you notice like, hey, wait a minute, it's not a not a big difference in speed and experience. You likely have the low band flavor of the 5G, which is not a difference maker in speed and experience that comes from the mid band and the millimeter wave. T-Mobile says they cover 210 million people with that mid band flavor. But I can guarantee you if we go to some of the bigger markets, Phoenix, L.A., New York, we can find larger areas where that even that mid band is not available. And same and the same with this home internet product for Verizon. Verizon covers a little over 100 million people now with C band. I can guarantee you as well that product, the availability, if you check it, it's not going to be available everywhere. So, and you know, AT&T as well. They'll be stuck in the same boat if they push a 5G message at the Super Bowl. Their C-band is limited in eight markets, so they're not going to have mid-band everywhere. So actually, now that I think of it, it probably wouldn't be a smart thing for them to advertise or market 5G at the Super Bowl. It wouldn't make sense. They don't have the mid-band at a large enough scale to. And we know, or for some of you that have been following the channel, 
low band is not the difference maker here. It's 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 just not big uh, big enough uh, channel sizes. So just as you see all of this money being spent on all these actors and and these this high quality marketing from the carriers, just don't get caught up too much in the hype. If it's available in your area, if you have the mid band flavor or even the millimeter wave flavor, then yeah, that's something to get excited about. If you check it. You look up your address, it's there, cool. You know, that's great. But just remember at a large scale, especially going into the more suburban rural areas, this might not be there for you, even though they are advertising it big at a nationwide event or worldwide event, event I should say. Just remember, it may not be available to you. The mid-band, the home internet, you might have 5G on your phone, but... You know, in those areas, the rural, the suburban areas, it is likely that DSS low band flavor, which is not going to give you a groundbreaking experience. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel. Lots more content coming. Just wanted to make this video as a PSA. Um, so you guys, you know, can temper your expectations for this weekend because these ads are going to come. Verizon has like six of them. Uh, T-Mobile is doing like several like two or three maybe, and AT&T don't really know. They're going to be there, but I just don't know if it's a 5G message or new and existing customers get the same deal. So again, make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel, follow the social media outlets for more updates and interactions. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.